land of the midnight sun and we have completed up to this so why we call uh, this thing as uh, land of the midnight sun You can see in Greenland, they are talking about here, we are talking about Greenland. And in Greenland, um, you can see uh, even uh, at the uh, summer uh, season, in the summer season, you can see uh, the sun at even midnight. That's why we call uh, this land as the land of the midnight sun in summer season we can see sun we can see the sun uh, at even midnight okay that's why we call it so now <clears throat> terrain the terrain is mostly flat but has gradually sloping ice caps that cover all land hmm. so uh, the land that is there in greenland that is mostly covered with ice caps and except the coastal regions except the you know what is uh, coastal region tell me the region that is the region that is near to sea that is called the coastal region so uh, except the coastal region, uh, all over uh, there you can uh, find ice. Hmm. The coast is narrow, rocky and consists of highlands. Okay. So, the coast is actually uh, narrow in shape, very narrow and uh, rocky and consists of highlands. Mountain chains run on the east and the west coast. Okay. In southern Greenland, there are three naturally heated springs. In uh, southern Greenland, southern portion of the Greenland, you can see uh, the natural, naturally heated springs. Okay, now the, the water is heated by the deep layers of the earth's crust rubbing against each other. Have you understood this? So, you can see the naturally heated uh, spring there. Where? In the southern side of the Greenland. Though all the um, land uh, that is there in Greenland, it is covered with snow. Then also in the southern portion, you can see this kind of naturally heated spring. Why? Because uh, the water is heated by the deep layers of the earth's crust rubbing against each other. That's why uh, this uh, hot water is coming. Okay. Do you have any pencil? Oh, this one, no? Okay. Climate. The temperature in Nook varies from minus 9 degrees Celsius to minus 30 degrees Celsius. Can you believe? Like, um, do you know the freezing temperature? What is it? It is uh, 0 degree, uh, 0 uh, even if it's zero Celsius, then uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Zero. zero. Yes, it is freezing temperature. Now, um, uh, you can find the temperature there minus 9 degree Celsius. So, below zero degree. The temperature you can find there that is below zero degree. That is minus 9 degree Celsius to minus 30 degree Celsius. However, during the summers, temperatures can go up to as much as 5 degrees Celsius. So, uh, 5 degrees Celsius uh, in our winter season, 
when it is too much cold at that time uh, we uh, we have uh, this type of temperature like 5 degree 6 degree or 7 degree means it is not a uh, um, uh, very uh, um, means uh, it is not often uh, oftenly happens it is uh, it, it happens uh, sometimes okay it happens sometimes when our uh, in the winter our temperature comes down at 5 degree celsius 5 or 6 degrees celsius like this but uh, there this kind of temperature uh, when they are uh, getting when summer season is going on there that time they are um, experiencing this kind of temperature like 5 degree centigrade during the winters the highest temperature is minus 23 degrees celsius minus 23 degrees celsius greenland experiences about two months of midnight sun during the summer as i have told you so during summer season you can uh, see the sun at midnight so uh, greenland actually experiences two months of midnight sun during the summer season during the summer season the midnight sun is a phenomenon that takes place in the summer months in the regions lying north of the arctic circle and south of the antarctic circle so it is a kind of phenomenon means it uh, it uh, um, it uh, doesn't happen uh, it, it it don't happen uh, uh, regularly okay it it uh, sometimes it happens so it is a natural phenomenon okay means uh, phenomenon means i'm telling you uh, which uh, you can see uh, means very uh, not uh, very often sometimes sometimes you can see the thing then that that takes place in the summer months in the regions lying north of the arctic arctic circle and south of the antarctic circle okay Uh, as you have asked me the meaning of the phenomenon directly i'm i'm telling you I, I have told you the meaning indirectly the directly the meaning is a fact or situation that is observed to exist or happen especially one whose cause or explanation is in question okay um so it is not happens regularly it happens sometime very rare that is phenomenon that is called the phenomenon the midnight sun is a phenomenon that takes place in the summer months in the region where in north of the arctic circle and south of the antarctic circle okay now in these regions the sun shines for 24 hours a day 24 hours a day for six months a year how many months for how many months for six months it shines 24 hours a day summers here are cool and winters are extremely cold so uh, they are uh, experiencing summer they are calling it summer but it is cool there mm. Then also why they are calling it summer? In comparison to the their to their winter season, that is a uh, little bit hotter. That's why they are calling it summer. Okay. Now um, summers here are cool and winters are extremely cold. During the summers, the sun does not set for several weeks. 
However, during the winters, the sun does not rise for several months and it snows uh, constantly. The sun uh, does not set for several weeks. Okay. It does not set. Sunset, you know. So, it does not set for several weeks. However, during the winters, the sun does not rise for several months and it snows constantly. The snow normally melts during summers. So, during summer, the snow normally melts. The icebergs, which are basically blocks of ice that have melted, float away and get submerged in the oceans. Okay. Icebergs are very dangerous for ships that pass through the region as they cannot be seen in the thick fog. This can uh, lead to accidents. Have you understood? So, um, the icebergs. What is icebergs? Yes. Big, big pieces of ice, which are basically blocks of ice that have <clears throat> melted during summer season, float away and get submerged in the oceans. Okay. Icebergs are very dangerous for ships that pass through the region have you seen the movie titanic yes. so um how uh titanic the ship submerged because of a piece of ice. yes because of the icebergs so this is very this uh, this kind of icebergs are very dangerous for ships as they cannot be seen in the thick fog in winter season, you cannot see um, any icebergs in um, thick fog, right? So, this can lead to accidents. Now, take a cube of ice and hold it over fire. Watch it melt. It will melt easily. The same phenomenon will happen to the Greenland ice sheet if global temperature keeps increasing. If the global temperature uh, will keep um, increasing, then that uh, the ice uh, that we can find there, that also uh, that also will uh, going to melt. Okay, like uh, this this kind of things. Like if you hold the cube of ice uh, over a fire. It will melt like that. Only that ice will melt. Now clothes. In earlier times, uh, Inuits were, wore clothes made from animal skin or hides. Okay. Uh, from animal, they used to wear uh, animal um, uh, skin. Okay. These clothes were warm and protected the people from freezing temperature. As the uh, freezing temperature is there, so you need very uh, warm cloth to protect yourself from uh, this uh, severe cold, right? So, while hunting on ice or in kayaka, uh, kayaks, what is kayaks? What is kayaks? Kayak, a boat meant for a single person consisting of a light wooden frame and covered with watertight skin this is called kayak understood a boat meant for a single person only single person can uh, ride and then consisting of a light wooden frame and covered with water tight skin understood now uh, these clothes also have hoods hoods means this kind of uh, means yeah. cap cap yes people wear large boots made from seal skin skill uh, seal uh, you know yes. Uh, yes skill is the, is the sea animal so uh, people uh, used to wear large boots made from seal skin and use mittens to cover their hands mittens means uh, like it's, it is like the hand gloves um, uh, to cover their hands festivals in greenland the return of the sun after a long winter is celebrated with songs, coffee and distribution of cakes. So, actually, uh, 
means uh, maximum uh, uh, means our uh, festivals maximum of our festivals they are related to the nature like that only greenland people also celebrate uh, the festivals when the means uh, the return of the sun uh, in summer season when the sun returns that time they celebrate their festivals uh, the return of the sun after a long winter is celebrated with songs coffee and distribution of cakes because in winter six months you can see the sun there 24 hours a day uh, and six months you cannot see the sun there only you can see the night that is dark so after six months when sun again return that time they celebrate their festivals with songs coffee and distribution of cakes christmas new year and the national day 21st june is also celebrated with songs and special programs this uh, celebration is different um, the whole when the whole world actually celebrate this kind of festival like christmas new year and the national day they are also celebrating these uh, festivals with them with the whole world okay these are different now language and religion the official language of greenland is greenlandic greenlandic okay also known as kalali sat kalali sat okay about four fifth of the greenlanders are units and one tenth are danish okay so um as in india you can see um, uh, various um uh, religions or uh, various types of peoples like uh, Kanara, then uh, uh, Uriya, Bengalis, uh, then um, um, Marathi, like this. So they are also divided into uh, two types. What are they? One is Inuits and an, an, another one is Danish and their uh, quantity is four fifth means four fifth of the Greenlanders are Inuits and one tenth are Danish. The official religion is Lut Lutheranism. So the official religion is Lutheranism. Okay. And about one third of the people follow Christianity. The population is fairly widespread with a large portion living in municipalities and the rest living in villages. So large portions, uh, they are living in municipalities and the rest, they are living in villages. Culture, Greenlanders are very proud of their traditional cultural activities they are fond of kayak building and sailing this is their culture okay so folk art like uh, soapstone carving and drum dancing is also very popular soapstone carving and drum dancing they are very popular there are a number of museums the most important one being in nook called National Museum and Archives. National Museum and Archives. What is Archives? What does it mean? Archive means records or documents preserved as evidence of fact. Archive means records or documents that is preserved as evidence of facts. The collections in the museum cover the 4500 years of history of greenland okay so you can get the history of about 4500 years um, there in that museum football is the national sport in addition the greenlanders are 
fond of skiing playing handball and volleyball so basically they are a uh, main uh, means uh, their national sport is football though their national sport is football uh, but as the whole area all time it is uh, it 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 actually um, all the time it actually covered with the snow no so that's why they basically uh, fond of playing skiing skating on ice or skiing on ice okay plant life during summers the ground is covered with moss and shrubs some flowering plants like rosemary and yellow poppy are found here dwarf birch and willow may grow several feet high so dwarf birch uh, they are the name of the no they are the no name of the plant and willow may grow several feet high this willow plant is very expensive very expensive willow a tree or shrub of temperate climates which typically has narrow leaves bears catkins and grows near water Man, typically and means typically means uh, which typically has narrow leaves means uh, typically means um you can see maximum uh, plants they are having narrow leaves okay narrow uh, leaves they are having and as well as bears catkins bears catkins and grows uh, near water catkins means a downy hanging flowering spike of trees such as willow and hazel okay understood a downy hanging flowering spike and one uh, kind of flowering spike that is hanging uh, from the uh, tree okay that you can find in this uh, willow uh, tree and as well as hazel tree and grows near water so willow is a uh, like cricketers they used to play uh, with the bats no that is uh, the, the those bats uh, that is made up of willow wood willow wood okay uh, basically they are made up of uh, willow wood may grow several feet high plants like uh, Lichens are also common in the rocky areas. They act as fodder for the animals. Normally, not many plants or trees are found here owing to the severe winters. So, as uh, all the time uh, uh, means uh, uh, they are experiencing severe winter. No, you cannot find uh, normal plants or trees there. Now, in the coastal areas, one can see grasses, wild plants, and shrubs. Only in the coastal areas, where um, snow is not uh, enough, snow you cannot find in a huge quantity. There, you can see uh, this kind of grasses, wild plants, and shrubs. A lot of people live in the southwestern coast of Greenland, as it is warmest part of the country so which one is the warmest part of the country this one this one uh, coast of uh, southwestern coast of greenland southwestern coast of greenland yeah. now currants cranberries and blueberries are also found in greenland have you ever ate uh, cranberries and blueberries? Blueberries are. Yes, I ate blueberries and cranberries as well as, but currants, uh, I think I also um, didn't eat. In the valleys of southern, uh, southern Greenland, one can find a few herbs and ferns as well. Greenland imports wood from other countries. Okay. Animal life 
the land mammals found in greenland are musk ox so what kind of animals you can find in greenland reindeer reindeer polar bear and white arctic wolf white in color their body color is white their mm, hair color is white yes and some domestic animals like sheep goats and pigs are also raised by the inuits okay marine animals like seals walruses and whales inhabit greenland different types of whales like the blue whale fin whale humpback whale pilot whale etc constitute the marine life means you can see this kind of whales there in their uh, in the marine life like a uh, blue whale fin whale humpback whale pilot whale have you ever heard about these uh, types of whale yes. hmm? you have heard about blue whale yes. okay now um, fish such as cod and rock fish are very useful for the economy they are exported to other regions and are a source of revenue for the country revenue means money by exporting this kind of fish uh, this country they are incoming money the greenland shark is exploited for the oil present in its liver so its um, liver oil is very useful for us that's why it is a, a means uh, a people uh, they are exploiting greenland shark means they are killing this kind of sharks and they are um, by killing they are getting the, the liver oil from them the birds found in greenland include petrels yes the name of the bird puffins and gulls Arctic tern is a small bird that comes to Greenland during summers and goes to the South Pole during winters. So they are basically the migratory bird. Find out the reason why shark oil is very useful. So uh, we will uh, later on we will discuss on this why shark oil is very useful. Economy and industry. Greenland is dependent on its fishing and export industry. So uh, basically it is uh, Greenland is dependent on its fishing, <laughs> fishing and export industry. Shrimp export earns large revenues. Reindeers, polar bears, seals, walruses and whales are important sources of meat. Means uh, people uh, kill them and eat their meat. See, Greenland also has a hydroelectric power plant named Buxfjord. Okay, the name is very difficult and the spelling also. So learn the spelling well. Tourism has grown rapidly and has benefited the economy. Then mining of ruby and other minerals like iron, uranium, platinum, nickel and copper is also carried out on a large scale. So a ruby is a, a kind of stone. So mining of a ruby, uh, this is a expensive, this is an expensive stone and other minerals like iron, uranium, platinum, nickel and copper is also carried out on a large scale. <laughs> Now, transport. Roads are present only within the towns. Dog sledges and snowmobiles. Snowmobiles, what is it? A vehicle that can move over snow and ice easily. At is, as uh, Greenland is uh, mainly covered with ice, so this kind of vehicle you can find there. Uh, this vehicle actually um, uh, can move over ice and um, uh, or the snow easily. Okay. Now, so this is the um, uh, this is the main important uh, um, uh, transport. transport. Yes, are used on ice covered areas. Shipping and air services are the main means of transport in Greenland. 
Greenland also has a very sophisticated telecommunication network. So snowmobiles, you can uh, snowmobiles, dog sledges, you can see uh, mainly on the areas that is uh, covered with ice. And in other areas, uh, that is shipping and air services are uh, main uh, means of transport. Welfare services. The government of Greenland provides its citizens with a range of welfare services like free health care and nine years of free and compulsory <laughs> education for Greenlandic children. Nine years. Mm, they are giving free, free of cost, means uh, government uh, don't take any money. education charge, any money uh, and a compulsory education that you need to take. You will have to take that education up to nine years mm -hmm. for Greenlandic children. So this is all about the uh, Greenland. Um, now let's learn about it. Episode, a long narrow inlet with steep sides of, or cliffs. Steep, uh, very, very uh, steep kind of sides. Steep means this, this type of very steep sides. Okay. A narrow inlet with a steep sides or cliffs created in a valley carved by a glacial activity. Ice sheet, a mass of glacial ice extending for more than 50,000 kilometers. So, this is ice sheet. Now, Lutheranism, a major branch of Protestant Christianity. So, this is a branch of Protestant Christianity. Okay. Willow, I have already told you. Snowmobile also I have told. So, uh go through this go through this chapter and learn each and everything each line very carefully okay and learn this word power also okay now let's start our signs <coughs> so today we will learn safety and first aid what do you know about first aid? Where, um, where, uh, where medicine and you see no first aid box. Yes. Where we uh, keep, keep some medicines, medicines bandage, bandages, yes. antiseptics. Antiseptic. Yes. That is first aid. Means uh, if uh, any accident happens, happens that time. At first, you can uh, this this uh, you can take uh, aid from this first aid box. Introduction: Accidents can happen anywhere at your home, school, or on the road. Many times, accidents occur due to your carelessness. For example, at home, when you are handling sharp instruments such as knives, scissors, etc., or while playing. Carelessly, you can injure yourself. Okay. Now, these are some of unexpected events that can happen anytime and anywhere. Like a car accident. Like you can uh, fall down from the... Um, uh, from the slide. Yes. You must know what to do at such uh, times. Quickly uh, or promptly. So that you can save your or your friend's life. So what you will do if any accident occurs? Accidents due to fire. Fire is a useful resource, but many times due to your carelessness, it becomes <laughs> dangerous. Right? This can happen in the following situation when carelessly handling matchsticks, candles, lantern, etc. Especially matchsticks. When you are carelessly handling matchsticks, candles, that time it can happen. Some faulty electrical circuits, gadgets and switches catch fire. While cooking gas leaks in the kitchen. Prevention of fire accidents. What you will do to prevent? 
by using some of these simple steps you can reduce the risk of fire accident some measures to prevent fire are listed below like all electrical gadgets should be checked regularly for any leakage so uh, whenever you are at home tell your parents or uh, you yourself check all the gadgets whether it is um, i mean uh, um, whether it is working um, yes or not working whether it is uh, secured or not secured that you yourself have to check now children should not be allowed to handle anything that is hot or play around electrical gadgets like iron toasters oven etc match boxes lighter etc should be kept at a place which is out of the reach of children children should play with fire crackers only under adult supervision whenever diwali um, come that time you should play with fire crackers only under adult supervision while cooking adults must take care and should not wear loose and baggy clothes they should also not wear synthetic clothes in the kitchen as they catch fire easily gas should be switched off properly when not in use gas pipes should be checked regularly for any leakage safety during fire accidents air is needed for burning therefore the best way to control or put out a fire is to cut off the air supply <coughs> if you cut off the air supply only uh, at that time you can mm, means uh, control the uh, uh, control uh, to uh, so that a fire cannot spread this can be done in the following ways throwing soil or sand over the fire if you see the fire all of a sudden fire catches then what you will do if uh, you, you can um, you can do this thing you can uh, throw soil or sand over the fire pouring water over the fire this lowers the temperature of the object which is burning then for a uh, small fires or fire in electrical gadgets and circuits always use a fire extinguisher so uh, i think you have seen no in hotels and uh, especially in school also i think you have seen this kind of ex uh, fire extingu uh, extinguisher is there red color uh, yes. cylinder small yes. kind of cylinder yes. yes in case of major fire accidents inform the nearest fire station fire fighters will put out fires with fire engines if anyone's clothes catch fire the person should be rolled onto the ground should be rolled rolled like this onto the ground okay now it will control the fire quickly you can also pour water over the flames shut off the supply of the fuel like gas what to do what sorry what not to do water should never be thrown over the fire caused due to leakage of electricity if you throw the water um, uh, means uh, over the fire which caused uh, due to the leakage of the electricity yes, yes. electric you can get the electric shock yes, if we throw sand then it will ha huh. this is because electricity can flow through water and if the flowing water touches someone he may experience a severe shock or even you could get a severe shock water should not be thrown over the fire caused due to burning of petrol or kerosene petrol and kerosene are lighter than water thus they float over it this may further spread the fire and will not put it out understood so this thing you should not do first aid when somebody gets injured or meets with an accident you should not panic sometimes you can handle such situation by giving him or her immediate help before taking him to the doctor 
this immediate help that can be given to an injured or sick person before taking him to the hospital is called first aid so what is first aid the immediate help that you can give to the injured person okay that is called the first aid before taking him or her to the hospital proper and promptly given first aid can prevent uh, the injury from getting worse and at times even save a life first aid if clothes catch fire cover the person with a thick blanket carpet or rug this will cut off the air supply and help in putting out the fire like this you will have to cover the person make him or her lie down at once and roll on the ground and make him uh, make him or her lie down on the ground like this and roll him or her like this okay now first aid for burns in case of burning what you will do in case of burn due to heat if the burn is small the skin becomes red and no uh, blisters are formed blisters are like this um, what to say <clears throat> it is like uh, uh, swelling of skin Swe swelling of skin after burning sometimes uh, uh, you uh, you can see this kind of swelling of uh, skin means uh, the skin uh, it it swells like the balloon no have you not seen yes, we call it in bengali we call it foshka i don't know what you call mm, uh, in english it calls blisters okay in such cases wash or put the burnt area under running cold water for some time to cool the skin and apply antiseptic cream over the burnt area okay it is like a balloon type yes yes the skin so, uh, means uh, you can see the swelling of skin and it 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 um, looks like the balloon yes there yeah, small kind of if the burn form uh, blisters on the skin never prick them you should not prick them prick with a uh, with um, anything with any sharp thing you should not prick okay place a clean cloth over the burnt area like this to protect it from flies or dust to prevent infection okay apply a piece of cloth dipped in paste of baking soda and water on the burnt area so this is very important you can apply uh, baking soda and uh, you can apply the paste of baking soda and water on that area on that burnt area if burns are severe or you can uh, apply barnol uh, or any any kind of antiseptic cream specially uh, yeah turmeric uh, vico turmeric uh, that is also very good if burns are severe take the casualty to the doctor immediately and give him lot of water to drink okay in case of chemical burn was the burnt area with plenty of water if burns are severe take the casualty to the doctor immediately and give him a lot of water to drink okay so these are the steps what uh, you should follow if uh, in case of burn
okay in case of chemical burn hmm wash the burnt area with plenty of water till the pain is relieved and the chemical washes off chemical burn is very serious thing okay so um, cover the area with clean dry dressing and take the casualty to the doctor with complete information about the chemical what kind of chemical uh, means um, how uh, one person um, has burnt and uh, what kind of chemical with what kind of chemical that person has burnt okay um, that you will have to tell everything to the doctor first aid for wounds so here uh, you can see few pictures <coughs> chemical spills on the lower arm okay lower arm a chemical all of a sudden spills like this you can see thoroughly wash the burnt area under running water like this remove any clothing or accessory from the area you should remove this thing then cover the burnt area with clean dry dressing like this consult the doctor with information about the chemical now wounds are caused when sharp instruments like knife scissors blades etc are handled carelessly one can also get injured and wounded while playing minor wounds treatment of minor wounds such as cuts deep scratches does not require a doctor you can treat minor wounds yourself in the following way first clean your hands with soap and water before treating so you should clean your hand with soap and water before uh, treating the wound wash the wound with water then clean the wound with a mild antiseptic solution such as detol to carefully remove minute dust particles from it okay then if there is bleeding apply ice on the wound to stop it so if there is bleeding what you will do you will have to apply ice on it apply an antiseptic cream over the wound cover it with a gauze and tie a bandage here i can um, uh, tell you another thing if uh, um, like a uh, wound happens uh, on your throat what you will do you cannot apply detol there you cannot apply any antiseptic there so that time no um in a, um, a, a, at our home we used to uh, use sugar sugar we used to pour sugar on it to control the uh, bleeding okay so that is also a one kind of first aid that we used to give deep wounds if the wound is deep and there is heavy bleeding follow the given steps so these are the steps that you should follow if the wound is heavy <coughs> try to stop the bleeding by tying a tight bandage above the wound clean the wound and cover it with a piece of cloth Raise the casualty to the doctor as the wound may require stitches. Casualty means the patient, the uh, person who had um, means uh, who had faced this kind of or um, uh, means um, yes who had faced this kind of incident. As the wound may require stitches or an injection may need to be given to prevent tetanus. So. tetanus injection is um, very much important to give if the wound is deep and heavy tetanus what is tetanus tetanus also known as a lock jaw is a serious but preventable disease that affects body's muscles and nerves the germs of the disease enter the body through open wounds it can enter to the bodies through open wounds so we should we should take tetanus injection if our wound is very deep and heavy okay 
Now, first aid for animal bites. The bites of animals like dogs, cats, monkeys, etc. can cause a dangerous disease called rabies. So, when uh, a, a, the person um, means uh, the animals like dogs, cats and monkeys bite any person, it can cause a dangerous disease called rabies. You need to take the following steps in case of animal bite. What you will take? Wash the beaten area with running water to wash off the saliva carrying the germs of rabies. Means a saliva of the animal that uh, that had uh, the or that has beaten you. Okay, a apply an antiseptic cream over the beaten area and rush the victim to the doctor for further treatment. Doctor will give uh, him or her some injection. Doctor will uh, prescribe him prescribe him. Uh, some uh, medicine for this okay now rabies is a brain disease what is rabies rabies is a brain disease caused by the rabies virus it is fatal condition caused as a result of being beaten by an infected animal usually stray animals stray means those who are um, living on streets who don't have any uh, master okay they are called yes Yes, master or owner who don't have any master or owner, um, they can, uh, they are, call, we call them stray animals. So, the disease causing virus spreads through the animal's saliva after the animal bite. Vaccination against rabies helps to fight the disease. Means uh, people can die with this uh, kind of uh, uh, rabies virus. Okay, and even uh, people can uh, also die if uh, the people, um, if the wound is very heavy uh, and uh, the person is not taking the tetanus injection, he or she can also die that time. Okay, insect stings, insect stings, when insects bite you or stings you. Um, in the case of insects, no, we call it uh, stings. And in case of animal, we call it bite. Okay. Insects like bees and wasps can sting a person. This can be very painful and serious. Take the following steps in case of insect stings. Remove the stings by scraping the skin surrounding the stinger. Like this. You, you can remove the skin from there. Uh, until the stinger is removed, wash the sting area thoroughly, then apply back baking soda on the sting area in case of bee bite and vinegar or lemon juice for wasp bite. So two things you can use. In case of bee bite, you can use uh, baking soda and in, in case of wasp bite, what you will use? What you will use? Vinegar or lemon juice yes or lemon juice not uh, and vinegar or lemon juice what is available snake bite the bites of poisonous snakes can cause death therefore a person bitten by a snake needs immediate attention and treatment the poison injected by the snake rapidly travel through the blood and affects his heart and nervous system uh, follow the given steps in case of snake bite. The, uh, tie a cloth tightly above the wound to show down the spread of poison by reducing the flow of blood. This can you do. Okay. You can tie the uh, tie one cloth tightly above the wound. Immediately rush the casualty to the nearest hospital. First aid for sprains and fractures. One may sprain an ankle or wrist or fracture a bone due to a bad fall or other reason. In such cases, follow the steps given below. So, in case of sprain, a twist in a joint. Suppose a twist in a joint such as an ankle or wrist results in a sprain. The joint swells up and is very painful to move. The sprained part should not be moved before it is healed properly. In order to treat the swelling from a sprain, apply ice packs or ice cubes on the injured 
joint till the swelling subsides understood now fracture a crack or break in a bone is called fracture what is fracture crack bones when bones are cracked yes care must be taken not to move the fractured part as it may leads to dislocation of bone and severe pain if an arm is broken follow the given steps tie a splint above and below the fracture okay like this the splint should be tied with a bandage or piece of cloth at two uh, three places to prevent movement of the broken bone and prevent further dislocation the fractured arm can further be supported by a sling a piece of cloth tied around the neck to support the broken arm like this okay now finally the patient should be taken to the hospital for further treatment if a splint is not available then you can place a piece of cardboard newspapers a ruler or stick for the same purpose you can use this if a leg is broken then call for an ambulance immediately so these are the steps that you can uh, take whenever you need that one means these are the first aid these are the first step that you can take whenever you meet with an accident first aid it is the first of immediate help that is given uh, to the casualty before visiting the doctor or to a hospital this is first aid blister means these are the swellings on the skin filled with water these are usually developed after severe burns fracture it is the crack or break in a bone have you understood the chapter it is very easy you will have to learn only the steps that you should follow uh, whenever needed okay so that's it